Alligator Sermon 8. The pickup whined and grunted. The second time I went out to the trailer it was in Heidi's pickup. Heidi's lover, Anne, had the window seat. Heidi is a writer who holds her place. She's a feminist, but her poetry is personal. It's no movement vehicle. It just wanders at times into Judeo-Platonic dualities and such. Ideas. The melody is mild, hardly worth going to the doctor about. The pickup whined and grunted over the ruts, and I saw other cars at the trailer. Kate sat in a rattan chair in front of the trailer under a canvas sunshade Sam had rigged. She wore a long black dress and a wide-brimmed hat, and she held her snakehead stick in her lap. There was a buzzing of friends inside the trailer. Nedra was cooking food at Kate's stove. I stepped inside. The couch had a spread over it to hide the rips. Rob was sitting there, needing nothing, gray-bearded, so relaxed, and all right. His eyes were almost closed. Hey, Rob. A finger of his hand on the couch arm came up and went down. I remembered myself the year before that, getting out of Spanish Portuguese and in the comp lit. A tall stack of shit cans getting ready to fall over on me classroom full of 48-year-old career grads calling the professor by her first name. My loan money running out. Lonely only. Lone wolf. Lone gunman. Loan me $15. Is this enough? Rob had asked, holding out wrinkled currency. Rob's house had a sunken gravelly place in front, where the driveway used to be. Friends had come with picks and helped to kill it, break up its concrete corpse, haul away the chunks. Rob was the primitive Methodist, but once he too had been a bongo poet of the 60s, had gone to Manhattan, carried around the beat-up guitar with him on a subway, had written songs, guitar poems he'd taken to smoky dives, where poets came to bellow, Below sidewalks where junkies leaned. A bullet for your thoughts. Yeah. But then the journey home, back to Austin, back to ground, with his beaded and bangled beatnik babe, who was now a kind gray-haired lady giving me a cookie. Need, to play, need a place to crash? We could drag out a blanket. There's only one bed and we sleep in it. There was no couch in the living room, only a clean floor and white walls. Lean, leaning against one wall, one, one of the walls looking out of place, was the Byzantine cross with the ring-bearded Jesus. I'll take the bus. Say, do you have a Coke? Nope, only water. I can put some ice in it if you like. <laughs>